Welcome to Silver Series Secrets, the video tutorial series that helps you use Silver Series operator interface terminals with other Watlow products. In this installment, you will learn how to connect EasyZone controllers to the OIT via a 485 network, set up an EasyZone gateway for Modbus RTU communications, create a new Silver Series project, configure the Modbus RTU master communications driver and address data in the EasyZone products connected to the gateway. We'll be using an EasyZone RM system consisting of two RM control modules, an RM scanner module, and an EasyZone RUI with Modbus RTU gateway. A Silver Series OIT powered by a DC power supply and its USB programming cable, a laptop computer with EasyWare 5000 and EasyZone Configurator software installed, a communications cable for connecting the OIT to the RUI gateway, a USB to 485 converter and communications cable to connect the laptop computer to the RM. The EasyZone RM modules are connected together at their backplane connectors. Each is configured for standard bus communications and set to a unique address. The control modules are set to addresses 1 and 2, and the scanner to address 3. The RUI and RM system are connected via Watlow standard bus. Using shielded twisted pair communications cable, connect the standard bus terminals on the RUI with the corresponding terminals on one of the RM modules. With one pair, connect CD on the RUI to CD on the RM, and CE on the RUI to CE on the RM and with one wire from another pair connect CF on the RUI to CF on the RM. The OIT is connected to the RUI gateway using the 485 cable available from Watlow. The DB9 connector goes into the COM1 485 connection on the OIT. At the RUI end, the white with brown stripe wire connects to CA, the blue wire to CC, and the brown wire to CB. The OIT is also connected to the laptop computer with a USB programming cable. In order to use EasyZone Configurator to set up the gateway, we need to connect the computer to the RM via RS-485. Here we use a USB to 485 converter. Launch EasyZone Configurator. Choose Configure a device while communicating with it. Click Next. Select the COM port. Click the Advanced button to make sure the Also Scan for Remote User Interfaces option is selected. If you're using an RM Access module instead, make sure the range of addresses to be scanned includes the Access module. Click OK and click Next. Choose the RUI module, the device with the part number that starts with EZK. On the Remote User Interface page, choose the Communications 1 menu and set the number of slaves to 3 so the RUI won't waste time looking for additional devices. To set up Modbus on the other communications port, choose the Communications 2 menu. Modbus address determines the network address of the gateway. This must match the setting we make later in the OIT. The default setting 1 is best. Set the baud rate. We'll use 38,400. We'll use the parity set to none and the Modbus word order set to word low high. Set the display units to the temperature scale you want. An RUI gateway or an RM access modules gateway can connect up to 16 other EasyZone devices such as RM control modules to a Modbus RTU network. The gateway function is enabled and configured using the local remote gateway menus. The local remote gateway instance numbers correspond to the standard bus addresses of the connected EasyZone modules, so the connection to the RM control module with address 1 is configured on the local remote gateway 1 menu. The second RM controller's connection is configured on the local remote gateway 2 menu, and the RM scanner's connection is configured on the local remote gateway 3 menu. For each device, enable it and set the Modbus address offset. The offset for the first controller will be zero. We have to carefully consider the offsets for the other two controllers because these offsets determine how many controllers will be able to communicate via the gateway and which parameters you'll be able to access in each. 
The offset we set for the second controller limits the range of addresses that can be accessed via the gateway in the first controller. For example, if we set the second controller's offset to 1000, only addresses 0 to 999 will be accessible in the first controller, and the second controller's data will start at address 1000. In this tutorial, we'll set up the gateway to allow access to the process value, control mode, and set point for loops 1 to 3 in both the RM control modules. Consulting the manual, you can find the address for analog input 1's process value is 360, loop 1's control mode is 2220, and loop 1's closed loop set point is 2500. Since the set point has the highest address, that's the one we have to pay attention to in selecting the gateway offset. Note that for each Modbus address in the manual, an instance offset is also included. That offset is used to determine the addresses for the other analog inputs and control loops. The instance offset listed for set point is 80, so the address for the second loop's closed loop set point is 2500 plus 80, 2580, and the address for the third loop's closed loop set point is 2580 plus 80, 2660. To be able to access the closed loop set point for loop 3 in the first RM control module, we must offset the second control module's Modbus addresses by more than 2660. Let's set the offset to 5000. That gives us some additional room in case we decide later to access other parameters we haven't anticipated at this point. For the offset for the third module, the scanner module, let's offset its addresses by the same amount so that the same range of parameters is accessible in the two RM control modules. To allow 5,000 addresses for the second controller, set the scanner's offset to 5,000 higher, 10,000. Close EasyZone Configurator. Launch EasyBuilder 5000. If you've previously edited a project, it opens automatically, so from the File menu, choose New. Otherwise, you will already see this dialog. Select your model. I'm using the 7-inch model and will create my screens in landscape mode. With the Use Template option set, click OK. The new project has two devices, the OIT, called Local HMI, and a Modbus RTU Master. Let's configure the Modbus RTU Master device by selecting it and clicking Settings. Modbus RTU Master is selected for PLC type. EasyBuilder 5000 refers to any device OITs communicate with as a PLC because that's a common type of device used with them. Use PLC interface to set which type of connection will be made between the OIT and the RUI. The RS485 two-wire setting is what we'll use here. Set PLC default station number to the Modbus network address of the RUI gateway. The default setting 1 is good. Click Settings and select the COM port on the OIT to which you will connect the RUI. We'll use COM1. Set the baud rate. We set the RUI gateway to 38,400, so we must set the same here. Make sure data bits is 8, parity is none, and stop bits is 1. Click OK, OK, and OK again. Now we can start creating an interface. Add a numeric display for the first process value in the control module with address 1. Enter a description. For PLC name, choose Modbus RTU Master. For address, choose 4x and enter 361. You must add a 1 to the address indicated in the EasyZone manuals. On the Numeric Format tab, for Data Format, choose 32-bit Float. Click OK and place the field. To create a label, select the Text tool and enter the label text. Choose an appropriate color, click OK, and click to place the label. You can go through the same steps to create another field for the second control module, but it's easier to copy and paste. Select the first field, press Ctrl-C to copy, 
and Control V to paste. Put the copy where you want it, then click the background to deselect it. Now double click the copy to edit its settings. Change the description and the address. The address of the first loop's process value in the second control module is offset by 5000 since that's what we set the offset to in the gateway. So insert a 5 to make it 5361. Similarly, we can make a copy of the label and edit it. Select it, copy, paste, drag, deselect, and double click to edit it. Make the change and click OK. To access the first analog input value in the scanner, consult the manual and find the Modbus address is 380. To that we have to add 1 to use it with the OIT and add 10,000 because that's the offset for the scanner module we entered in the gateway. So the address is 10,381. Again, copy, paste, deselect, and edit. and add a label. After compiling and downloading the project, the OIT displays the process values from the three RM modules that it gets from the EasyZone RUI. We can add fields and other screen objects that read and set other values in the RM system as long as the values are addressable in the range that we configured for the gateway to support for each module. Let's review. To set up Modbus RTU communications between a Silver Series OIT and EasyZone products through a gateway in an RUI or Access module, you must connect the EasyZone devices to the RUI or Access module via standard bus. With EasyZone Configurator, set the Modbus RTU settings on the Gateways Communications 2 menu, including the Modbus address, baud rate, parity, word order, and display units. And finally, Enable a local remote gateway and set the offset for each EasyZone product that will communicate through the gateway. The steps for creating a new Silver Series project that communicates with EasyZone products via Modbus RTU gateway are Create a new project in EasyBuilder 5000 Configure the Modbus RTU device that appears by default with the correct COM port and Modbus communication settings and remember, when addressing data in EasyZone devices, add 1 plus any instance offsets plus the gateway offset to the Modbus address found in the EasyZone user's manual. We hope you found this installment of Silver Series Secrets helpful. We'll explore additional topics in other installments.